So I've dealt a lot with habits and to-do lists and dreams and desires and goals and manifesting my own life and taking control of my life and getting off of autopilot as well as depression and living toxically and living a boring, draining life that isn't fulfilling whatsoever. And I've come up with a, a quick little easy way to get things organized and in order. So first and foremost, have your list of desires, goals, dreams, to-do list, whatever way you want to think of it. Whether that be, you know, dancing, starting dancing or reading or maybe hanging out with your kids more or organizing a certain part of your, your house, traveling, whatever it is, organize them in a way from urgency and then importance. So if it's urgent and important, put it at the top or put it in a certain category. If it's, you know, more so just important and less urgent, put that in a different category and then make another category for things that aren't really urgent or important. And they're just things that sound good to you, but, you know, aren't something that's like a pressing passion of yours. So first organize things into that list and then start with your urgent and your important. Very basic, very easy, very simple, quick, easy way that I have helped, that's helped me. Another thing is to, if you, if you feel like you don't have time to, to get these things done and you're like, how, how am I supposed to do these dreams and goals and desires when, I mean, I'm just working and struggling, take the time to look at what you're spending the time, your time doing. And I understand, you know, working takes a decent amount of time out of your day, but there's tons of hours within the day that, um, that you still have, whether you're working 10, 12 hours or eight or six, whatever, there's plenty of other time in the day that you can look at what you're spending your time on and look at your habits. What are things that, you know, you're just habitually doing, whether that's looking at your phone when you're sitting on the toilet or, you know, reading when you first wake up or you know, sitting and watching TV for five hours out of a day, whatever the case may be, look at what your habits are. And then from there, categorize those into what do you want to be doing? What are the things that you like that you want to maybe add to and, and grow within? And then look at the things that you're like, I don't want to be spending my time doing this. One thing that was a huge thing that I had a habit of doing was smoking. I mean, I didn't really care to do it. I was just wasting my money and my time doing it and my health. And so I changed that habit. I let go of it and replaced it with something else. So look at your habits. And then from there, you can adapt your goals and your desires. Look at the urgent ones. Look at the urgent and the important first and start working on them. You know, take steps to one step at a time. You don't have to change everything all in one day. Just look at when, when you start bringing awareness to what you want to be doing and what your habits currently are, you bring awareness to it and therefore you can start changing one little step at a time. Get rid of the one thing, replace it with something else and repeat it. Just, you know, spend a whole week just trying to replace smoking with eating a healthy snack, like whatever the case may be tons of different ways to do it. Reach out to me if you want some more help actually diving into a certain strategy or a certain schedule for you. I'd love to, to listen and to help and just kind of give guidance. I have done a lot of, of organizing and, and constructing my, my life in a way that flows, but also has a direct path that I'm not just on autopilot spending time doing nothing. And um, one last key to this is to repeat, is to repeat have reminders set up for you to keep up things. It's easy to, to start something for a week. Like how many people have new year's resolutions that they drop within the first month or two. It's that consistent reminder, that consistent motivation, that sustainable motivation that's going to keep you on track and keep these new things, these new changes, which essentially all this is, is, you're changing, you're adapting and growing, which we're meant to do. We've been taught to fear change. But if you have these reminders and the sustainable motivation to you know, keep you on track, that is a, a huge key to this whole change and growth that happens with 
all of this. So yes, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Let me know if you want some more details, especially on the reminders. There's, uh, I have a bunch of different tricks on um, having emotional ties to reminders and daily things that you can do to, to remind yourself of why you are doing certain things. So please reach out if you're looking for that. Thank you for taking the time. Remember to love and forgive yourself and others to be of help and service to others and to continue to grow and expand your your knowledge and your energy. I love you all. Peace.